Hey there folks, it's me, back again, with just a tiny little bit more ratchet. We haven't explored the Insomniac Museum yet, and that is something we have to do. So, before we go in, let me show you. We're in challenge mode, I've been playing around for a while, I've maxed everything here. I'm just going to step through all of it. If you're interested in what any of these weapons do, you can just pause the screen, read what it does, and I hope that satisfies you. I bought the Omega upgrade for the Rhino's maximum form. I didn't get to max it to level 10. It's at level 7 right now. The Rhino Extreme. Uh, when the Galactic Weapons Oversight Committee asked the designer of this near-mythical weapon of mass destruction what the maximum possible damage this weapon could achieve between its insanely high rate fire rate of fuginium infused slugs and missile volleys, she answered simply, Infinity. Beautiful. And it's the Infinity Gun. To the backing Groovatron beats, here's what it looks like. Just explosions as far as the eye can see. Nothing able to survive this. This is, this is what we look for. But, I've shown you this, and if you'd like to experience more of these special guns and what they can do, I'd recommend playing the game yourself, because it's a good game and it's lots of fun. Let's go see the Insomniac Museum and find out just what it's got in store for us. I'm very interested to see myself. Okay, here we go. Welcome to the Insomniac Museum. This bunker houses a collection of ration plank mementos from the last 15 years. The collection is divided between six secure vaults. We've unlocked the first vault as a reward for finishing the game. The other five, however, will only open if you've collected enough gold bolts. Well, I sure as hell have. Oh yeah, one more thing. You can't remove mementos from the vaults. But you can use the share button to take screenshots. And for your photography buffs out there, we have hacked or uh, modified the Plasma Striker to give you better zoom controls. <laughs> I love it! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, let's start with hanger number one. This is beautiful. Okay. Hey guy! Who are you? Hi! You look like Tidehunter. I don't even go here, but you look like Tidehunter. Hey, it's a smuggler! Sargasso Swamp Adventure Park. Oh good, that's that Jurassic Park and all. Good. Okay, come on. Yep, that's a Leviathan. That's from Tools of Destruction. Hey guys! Alright, there's lots of things here. Usually they've got, like, dialogue you can read about various things. Hey, it's a quark. Terrible. Yep, quark books. Well, this is a trip down memory lane. Oh, there's some crack and time stuff. Oh no, that's a uh, quest for booty stuff. Hey, it's Rusty Pete! We love that, Rusty Pete. Ship in a bottle. Not much dialogue to read, unfortunately, though. I have to admit, that's kind of a downer. I was hoping for a little bit more. Hey, guy. Well... Can't be- Oh! I know what these are! These are the, um, pipes from Quest for Booty. You had to play the pirate theme on these to unlock one of the sec one of the maps. That's really good. I respect that. Okay. Let's check hanger number two. I, of course, have enough gold bolts. Because I have more. Whoa. What have we got here? Is this stuff about the movie production? Oh. Once they were safe, Clank explained... Okay. Looks like we've got the movie cutscenes here. Hi. What's this? Do I recognize this? 
I feel like I don't recognize this. What is this? Hi? Hello! What is this? Well, this is very beautiful. I like this. But I am confused. Greetings from the Valis. Wish you were here. Is this like a movie cut? Oh, it's a movie trailer. That makes sense. <laughs> you having a bad time there, Ratchet? Oh dear! Oh, that poor plan. New team on the block. Okay, that's that's cool. I like that. Uh, let's play all the movies. This is an advert from Japan for the movie. Okay. Oh no, this is an advertisement for the second game. Oh my god, that was wonderful! I love that! Okay, let's blow up the kid's next love letter. Ratchet the worst roommate! <laughs> Good! <laughs> oh, oh, this was the second game as well. <laughs> Ratchet, the worst roommate. I love it. Okay, uh, these are more of the game movies. The movie scenes that were in this game. Yeah, okay. What's this, though? Are you anything? Doesn't seem to be so. Okay. Are uh, you anything? No. Alright, that's second bunker den. Or well, second hanger. To the best of my awareness, of course. Hanger number three! Oh, we've got vehicles in here. So there's a ship, there's a tank. Some transport machines. That's a uh, woodcutter robot from the woodcutting planet that I kept mentioning, which didn't make it into the game. Got some sketches of Big Al. We got another big robot here. We got another one of our ships, but I don't remember what game that's from. Maybe the third one? Hmm. Can I make it up there to see those? Come on, don't stiff me. There we go. No? Okay, apparently you just cannot fit up here. Well, we have to admire that from a distance then. That's a quest for booty shot. Where's my plasma slayer? There it is. Go team! Oh, there's a decoy. Love it. Hey guys. Okay. Oh, that is from All for One. Very strange game that I did not make it all the way through. 
I wasn't really into it, it's on account of having no one to play with. Okay, hanger number four. Here, we've got... I know you, you're from Kraken Time. Yep, that was the boss fight on... I forget the name of the planet. There's another one of our ships. Hey, it's Helga! Oh, she made it into this game, kind of, so good for her. There's a fire tank. More ships. That is the Gadgetron help desk attendant. Some Zoni. There really isn't that much to interact with in this... Insomniac Museum. I gotta say, no ex no real exhibits to speak of, which is a which is a shame. It's certainly not nearly as interactive as some of the older Insomniac museums. I still think the second is my favorite, solely because you can glitch into it, and I really enjoyed the method of glitching into it. All right. <laughs> Oh, love it. Hey guys, what are you? Uh, that is from... What's at Space? Uh, Into the Nexus. Those are the drawings of the sister of the progs. I forget her name. Nefton was the dude. And I think it started with a V. If I bothered to look it up in my weapons, because one of the weapons refers to her, then I could tell you. But I'm not going to, because I'm a bad person. Nice. Alright, last one. Come on, number six. You, you take the most gold bolts. Don't do me dirty here. Give me the good stuff. More Japanese ratchet with those giant eyebrows. I was about to look at my face to compare my eyebrows, but I'm not taking this mask off. It's not happening. That's a rhino. Hey, it's my Warbots from Deadlocked! Love those guys. That is... I do not recognize you. That looks like Nexus. Hello. Hi guys. Oh, this is this is from Nexus too. Yeah. They're the two are the prog brother and sister. There's lots of the ratchet dummies all over the place. Okay. There's some ammo, various looking ammo. Oh, these this is from uh, the first game. These are updated ammo icons from the guns available in the first game. From the Tesla Claw, that's the Love of Doom, that's some Rhino Ammo there, that's the Decoy Glove, that's the Pyrocida, that's the Visibomb Ammo, and whatever the Rocket Launcher was. That's a, that's, that's really strong and nostalgic. I feel good just looking at that. Yep, there's some of the old gadgets from the first game. Like the original 2002 version of it. Good stuff. Yep, yeah, there's your there's your equipments. Oh man. That that's not a gun from the first game. That's too over designed. Is that a rhino? I think that's the rhino from Into the Nexus. I don't remember, which means either the Into the Nexus rhino wasn't memorable or I didn't get it. Okay. Anything to do up top? Nope. Okay. Well, that's the Insomniac Museum for you, to the best of my knowledge. Maybe I missed something, maybe there was a special way to get information, and like, I only showed 20% of the whole thing. But, to the best of my awareness, that wraps it up. So, that's calling it for Ratchet and Clank. Uh, my next series, starting on Twitch, is going to be Ori in the Blind Forest. So if you're listening to this on YouTube, the first episode is probably already out, so hey! You should go watch that. Okay, thank you all for watching, thanks for sticking with me for this Ratchet & Clank adventure, and I will see you next time. Bye bye!